Hello and welcome to our A Shampoo Uninstaller 8 video tutorial. A Shampoo Uninstaller 8 allows you to install, evaluate, and remove applications without worries and without any leftover files. In the following minutes, I'll show you how to completely remove a program. You'll also learn how you can install a new application while ensuring it's completely removable later on. Once launched, Uninstaller presents you with a detailed summary of installed applications, apps and browser plugins. Information on locked installations, which I will talk about in more detail later, is also available. By the way, the tiles shown on the overview page are clickable and provide navigation shortcuts to the underlying program section. For example, clicking the Installed Applications tile is equal to clicking Applications on the left. The bottom tiles display the most recently installed applications along with the ability to trigger their uninstall procedure. Another important program setting is located at the top, Installation Monitoring. If active, Uninstaller detects and logs new installations automatically to ensure their clean removal if required. Logs include all system modifications from files to registry changes. It is the best way to remove applications without leftovers and goes far beyond what default uninstall routines as provided by application developers can do. Locked installations display a blue marking on the overview page. Here's how to get rid of an application quickly. If the application is not listed at the bottom on the overview page, click Applications on the left. The table lists all installed applications along with details like installation date, file size and whether the installation was monitored by Uninstaller. It also includes ratings to help you quickly spot unnecessary programs. Use the subcategories on the left to filter through the list of programs. In this example, I'll use All and rely on the search text field to locate the program I intend to remove, that is, XNView. Once found, I check the entry. You can repeat this process to select additional programs if needed. The number of selected programs and their total size is displayed to the left of the Uninstall button. Click Uninstall to trigger the uninstall process. By default, Uninstaller automatically detects the end of the uninstall process and will try to confirm requests from the program's original uninstall routine automatically. In-depth cleaning will also be performed afterwards. Click Uninstall to remove the application. Once removed, you'll see a brief summary including the number of deleted objects and the amount of disk space reclaimed. Click Close to finish the process. Next, I'll show you how to install applications in a way that ensures their clean removal if needed. As stated before, monitored installations lead to detailed log files, including all file and registry changes. There are different ways to trigger a monitored installation. In this example, I've downloaded a program from Download Portal that I'll now install through Uninstaller. I therefore access the notification area and click the Uninstaller icon. Next, I drag the setup file into the designated area to launch the installation process. I then follow the steps provided by the setup and hit Installation Completed once the process is complete. Afterwards, I'm presented with a brief summary of the changes made during the installation. The application is now installed. You can also trigger the installation from the main interface. Simply click Install and either drag the setup into the designated area or click Browse to manually select the file. The process is then identical to the procedure described before. 
another way to trigger an installation is through the Windows Explorer context menu. Simply right-click a setup file and select Install with Uninstaller. Once the installation is complete, you can review the log file on the Overview page. That's it for today. I'll gladly demonstrate other uninstaller features to you in another tutorial. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. What other tutorials and guides would you like to see from us? Use the comment section to give us your suggestions. Thanks for watching.